Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on using masks. Think of a mask as an invisible shape that confines characters, objects, images, or videos, and those objects cannot be seen outside of the mask. On the other hand, if you invert a mask, it blocks whatever you put behind it and objects only appear outside of the mask. So let's see what that means when animating. First we're going to take a common shape, a circle. Now I'm going to leave the circle the same color as the background and you will see that there is a circle here. Now we're going to take a character and put him on the canvas. I'm just going to give him a bit of a longer animation here, the thumbs up. Now whenever working with masks it's best to rename them and we do this on the track list on the left. So I'm going to grab the circle here and we double click and we're going to call this circle mask. What I'm going to do is animate this character within the mask. In order to create a mask you always click on the object on the timeline you want to place in the mask. So right click on the character and choose mask with and you'll see there are different shapes that you have put on the canvas. That's why we want to rename it so that we know how to find it properly. So we want to mask this with the circle mask. You'll notice when I click it that the character is cut off by the mask. If I choose the mask in the timeline and move it around, you'll see that it cuts off the character. And if I choose the character in the timeline and move him around, you can see that I can show you the edges of the mask. So let's just put him somewhere in the center here. Now if you want to remove a mask, simply right click on the character and press remove mask. The circle then is placed on top. And as we can see there's the circle here. Perhaps you want to have a background to the mask. You can duplicate the original circle and we're going to rename it Circle Background. We can color it a different color, let's say a nice kind of light blue color. And we're going to place it underneath the character. So now, when we create the mask with the character using the original circle mask, you can see that the background circle is behind, so that way it looks like the character is within the background. And if we play it, he's animating within this circle mask with a background behind it. So let me show you a couple of other examples. Now let's take a logo. So we'll go to the shapes and let's just take this one here. Make it a little bit larger. And as you can see there is a logo here. And let's rename that logo. Now let's go grab a video. I've already loaded a couple here so let's take this one here and we're going to bring this onto the canvas. I'll expand it. And now, let's just take this and expand it all the way. I'm going to choose the video, right click, mask with, logo. And now it appears only within the confines of that logo. So when we play it, it gives a fantastic effect. Now if you want this video to play only outside of the logo and not within the logo, we choose the mask. Go to the settings and you'll see where it says inverted and let's press yes. And now when we play, it plays outside of the mask. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep practicing with masks and happy animating.